In the first chapter of Matthew, we read the genealogy of Jesus, and in verse 14, we read, As are the father of Zadok, Zadok the father of Achim, and Achim the father of Eliud. Amen. Well, you really need to go back to that genealogy of Jesus in Matthew chapter 1. Read those first 14 verses or so to yourself. Now, what's in a name? It didn't make the top 10 or the hit 100 or even the most popular thousand names of the millennium. In fact, it didn't even make the top thousand of the most popular names given to the newborn boys in the last uh, 2,000 years. Akim. Not surprised, are you? After all, how many Akims have you known in your lifetime? You could count them all on one hair of your head, if even, even that many. I, I, I think he is in the Bible. He's in the genealogy of Jesus, one of the ancestors of the Lord. What was he? Who was he? Was he a merchant, a shepherd, a carpenter? Did he have a big family? Did he love his children? Did he care for his wife? Was he a man of strong faith or did he just attend synagogue occasionally? We don't know if there were any stories told to young Jesus about this person in his family tree. He's like some of our ancestors in those family photographs taken so long ago, those tintypes stored too long in shoeboxes, those Kodak moments that fade over the years until they're all curled up at the edges. The face is kind of blurry, you know? Who's that mum, that guy standing in front of that funny car? Who's that grandpa who's holding you on her lap? And we look and we think and we wonder and we stammer. I don't remember his name right now, but he was some sort of relation to my grandmother. She looks a lot like your Aunt Moira, but I'll be, damned, I'll be damned if I know who it is. But someone knew who these people were and what they did and what they meant to their families, to their children, to their friends and to their neighbours. We may not remember their names, but someone does. Someone who knows Akim, for example, when he was a little boy when he was a teenager and an adult. Someone who watched over Akim from his birth to his death. Someone who continues to know him and call him by name. And it's the same one who knows us by name and always will. The one we call God. So before we pray, I'm going to put up a memento for Akim on our Jesse tree. And since it's not so well known, I've tried to write his name on the white and the white ball. Let's pray. As we write names on gift tags, we lift them up to you. As we write names on cards, we offer them to you name above all names. As we address our cards and parcels, we ask that you surround these people with your peace and joy. As we stick labels on packages, we pray that your love and hope will accompany ours on a journey of love to these people. You know us by name, O oh God, and you never forget us, even when we forget you. Amen.